In today's video, we're going to discuss GeneratePress upcoming features focused around class-based design. Now, I'm not a developer or designer. I ran a WordPress agency from 2008 to 2018. I learned my development chops hacking away at WordPress prior to hiring a team to run a proper business at scale. I love WordPress themes and plugins that make me feel powerful. If that sounds like you, you're in the right place. I'm a fan of Cadence for particular reasons, which I can get into in another video, but I also started the WP Minute using the Generate Press theme, so revisiting the work that they're doing and improving on is refreshing. The page builder space has really pushed a lot of themes and plugins to innovate and play catch up to a more advanced user base, Bricks, for example. And while I'm not a Bricks user, I do know that the community is immensely passionate about their tool, rightfully so, and for good reason. Those reasons seem to be finally spilling into Generate Press alpha versions with introductions of this class first design thinking. Remember, I'm not a developer nor am I running an agency, so I encourage you to watch some of the videos from my friends Paul Charlton and Kyle from the admin bar because they'll dive a lot deeper into this stuff. Today's video is for the crowd learning this stuff for the very first time. Let's get into the first topic today. Why is class-based building so important? At the end of the day, we want to use these tools to make our web design and web development much more efficient than cracking open a code editor and starting from scratch. Since page builders are effectively a GUI for coding, they haven't mastered all of the concepts or functions available to real coding. Global styles, sweeping changes, building at scale inside the editor, that's been a challenge not just for third-party products, but for WordPress core experience. This class-based styling that Generate Press is introducing helps bring that into focus for their customers. Remember, and just to get ahead of the comments, Bricks has been doing this even before WordPress existed, so I'm told. Okay, we might need to fact check that. Let's take a look at an example of how this works inside Generate Press alpha version. Let's just take a look at a very simple example of using this new uh, global styles option inside of generate blocks and how you can apply it in your own workflow. Remember, this is super basic, um, and I'm just going to show you it as an example so you can hopefully see how this scales uh, for your workflow. So you have your hero call to action that you've designed. Very simple here. It's just a container block with a, a headline block, a paragraph block, and a button block, and you've already style the background in some uh, margin and padding to kind of shape uh, the content a little bit. In the old days, you would just have to redo those styles again on, the, on your new container block if you uh, so choose, or you would copy and paste styles. And it's fine when you're doing it on a very simple side and you only you know have a few blocks on a page. That's not a big problem. But when you start doing things at scale and you want to really have a more professional approach to this stuff, well, you want to use these classes. This class-based approach is much better. Uh, and much more practical uh, when you're running a freelance or an agency business for sure. So I've created the same thing here. It's just a container, headline, paragraph, and button. And I just want to apply these styles uh, that I've already created. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my original container and start typing in a name. So we'll call this Matt's Hero. We'll create that. It's going to prompt me to uh, with four questions, either start from scratch, do I want a blank style? Do I want to clone an existing style? Perhaps I've already made some and I want to copy and start from that. Do I want to copy the local block styles that I've already applied? That's what I'm going to do here because I've already spent some time with the background and the margin and padding or move the local block styles. So I'm going to click on copy local block styles, start editing. And really what I like with what they're doing now is you have many more breakpoints that you can punch into on mobile. Uh, and then you can also really go drill deep into um, the CSS classes for each uh, class that you're building and designing. It's just a, a much nicer user experience. And again, I look for this to get uh, a lot better in the future as this gets better. So we've saved that. We've created my global style called it Matt's Hero. When I click on the new container that I built, I can apply that style by selecting it right from the drop-down list. And there it is, margin padding, already set up, good to go. And when I'm building out uh, templates for you know repeating this work across a large site, uh, or if I'm customizing patterns that we can pull into, uh, this is going to make life so much easier. I also want to share my thoughts on their updated pattern library shipping alongside the class base updates. 
When I first started the WP Minute, it was built using Generate Press, as I mentioned before, largely because I hired a designer and developer to build the first iteration for me. As the site scaled and started to get more content and more features, I couldn't afford to rebuild the site with a professional designer. That's where Cadence won for me because they have a solid list of starter sites that allows me to get 90 to 95% of the way there without having to reinvent the wheel and recode everything. At least for me, Cadence is great for the non-developer and non-designer. Generate Press works really well for those of you building more custom designs but want a solid base of patterns to work from. That's where I see their pattern library fitting into the grand scheme of things. It's useful for designers or developers to wireframe their builds without heavy or opinionated design, which you might get from something like Cadence. Plus, when you make a change to CSS classes that the pattern loads, all future patterns will render those with the changes that you made. Remember, we're using these tools to enhance our efficiency, and this is certainly a nod in that direction. Look, a lot of this stuff is nuanced. That doesn't mean Generate Press doesn't have a good selection of starter themes or that you can't develop a high-performing WordPress website with core cadence experience. All of these tools can achieve the same goal with some unique experiences on the fringes during your journey to the end result. And one quick tip, if you're a Generate Press license holder and you want to dive into playing with this stuff today, you can turn on Receive Development Version updates inside Generate Blocks Pro, but you'll still need to manually update Core Generate Blocks by downloading it from your Generate Press dashboard. I was wondering why I didn't get all of the fancy new features, and that was the issue. I hope this gives you an idea about what class-based design inside Generate Press is going to take shape, or how it's going to take shape. It's a standard way of building sites at scale inside WordPress in a smart and scalable way, perfect for freelancers and agencies taking a more professional approach. At the end of the day, products from Cadence and Generate Press plus page builder plugins like Bricks and Elementor and Beaver Builder are getting closer to feature parity with one another, while Core WordPress seems to have years to go before it can catch up. Or not, I don't mind third-party products having these more advanced features while WordPress focuses on developing a healthy platform for all ships to rise with the tides. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. As always, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And if you want your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every week, head to the wpminute.com slash subscribe, and I'll see you in the newsletter. Thanks for watching.